Former Washington State and Mississippi State head football coach Mike Leach has died at the age of 61. Thank you for joining us. I'm Tim Pham. And I'm Channing Curtis. Mississippi State University announced his death Tuesday morning. Leach died following complications from a heart condition. Leach was the head coach at Washington State from 2012 to 2019, where he led the program to 55 wins during his tenure. That included the historic 2018 season with quarterback Gartner Minshew that saw Pullman's first college game day in Alamo Bowl victory. In 21 years as head coach, Leach amassed 158 wins with 14 seasons of his team being in the AP Top 25. He's also widely known for popularizing the air raid offense, which is still used by collegiate and professional football coaches all over the country. Current WSU head coach Jake Dickard spoke about the impact of Leach's legacy on the Palouse. I know Coach Leach means a lot to a lot of people in this building and a lot of kooks everywhere. And, you know, right now we're with heavy hearts. Um, you know, praying for a, a recovery and, you know, praying for his health and his family and all of his loved ones. And, you know, I think as a coach, you know your impact, you know, in times like this when there's so many people that are pulling for you. There's so many people that, that his reach is touched. WSU posted on Twitter saying, quote, we are who we are because of you, coach. We mourn the passing of a true legend. Words can't even begin to describe the impact you have left on this world. We loved every minute and every memory you have imprinted into this program forever a coog. And athletic director Pat Chun also issuing a statement saying, Washington State University mourns the loss of coach Mike Leach. We send out deepest condolences to Sharon and the entire Leach family. Needless to say, there will never be another Mike Leach ever to walk this earth. He was a husband, father, grandfather, friend, football coach, teacher, lifelong learner, in innovator, conversationalist, and a pirate. WSU will forever be indebted to Coach Leach for the legacy he left with us in Pullman. We were fortunate to have Coach Leach lead the WSU football program for eight years. Mike will be forever loved, terribly missed, and never forgotten. Current WSU head coach Jake Dicker tweeted out his condolences to Leach's family, saying, quote, did not know Coach Leach personally, but know his impact goes way beyond football. Prayers up to his family, friends, and everyone that feels his loss today, forever a coog. And across the Palouse in Moscow, University of Idaho head coach Jason Eck tweeted this out saying, RIP Coach Leach once talked ball with him for an hour, always had time for people, no matter who they were. Now, following the announcement of his death, the Leach family put out a statement saying, quote, Mike was a giving and attentive husband, father and grandfather. He was able to participate in organ donation at UMMC as a final act of charity. We are supported and uplifted by the outpouring of love and prayers from family, friends, Mississippi State University, the hospital staff and football fans around the world. Thank you for sharing in the joy of our beloved husband and father's life. Like we mentioned earlier, Leach left WSU after the 2019 season to go coach for Mississippi State. So we dug into the archives and found an old piece our former sports director Brenna Green put together as Leach reflected on his time at WSU. Take a look. I will forever uh, be proud and uh, if I'm not careful get emotional about my time at Washington State and the opportunity to coach there because I'm very proud of that team. I'm very proud of the Cougs. It didn't sound like it was necessarily an easy split from the Cougs for Mike Leach, but in classic pirate fashion, he also felt like he needed a new adventure. You're always really conflicted because, you know, um, you, you create great relationships with, you know, your, your previous team and, and uh, you know, coaches, fans and some things like that. Um, you know, but then the other side of it is, is uh, you're going to be dead in 100 years anyway. And um, so, you know, you want to uh, try to have a, as many experiences as you can. And, and uh, you know, everybody's got goals and things that they want to accomplish. And so, you know, it is kind of a path. And really, I guess in my case, uh, I just wanted different experiences, although I, I'll always cherish uh, the experiences that I had previously. And uh, I think that the departure is the hardest. But depart he did. So why was Mississippi State the school he finally decided to jump ship from the Cougs for? And the commitment to football that the, uh, the state of Mississippi has in the entire uh, southeast region and, and then the, the athletes that you have the opportunity to be a part of here 
and they only become uh, that way through incredibly hard work and dedication and I wanted to be a part of that and I wanted to have the opportunity to have another chapter in my career and we, we all, you know, why do you play sports? Whether you're uh, a player or a coach is to have the opportunity to see or do something uh, bigger than you currently are as you fight and uh, scratch uh, to achieve and so um, you know, this is a place with great resources and a great opportunity, in my opinion, to do that. And with that, Mike Leach moves on from the Palouse. But don't worry, Coug fans, you're still on his mind. I'm excited about this, uh, this next step, this next chapter, and to be a Washington, or, and to be a Mississippi State Bulldog. Anyone who knew Leach knew he was quite a character. So here's a look at some of his best moments during his coaching career. Yeah, I did have a pet raccoon. I would like to have a pet raccoon again. It's tough if you travel. Yeah, you know, right now uh, we have the atmosphere of a, of a JC softball game. Would I spend a week in jail to get rid of my student loans? I would have spent three months in jail. There's not a lot of reality involved in reality shows, and I would have done it happily. It's a good win. There's a lot of people. It's like Woodstock, except everybody's got their clothes on. <laughs> Eventually, before it was all said and done, I'd be leave, I'd be leaving, leading prison calisthenics and stuff like that. Going to the best shank builder and get a good shank, you know, for if I needed anything like that. It's a little mustache. Oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> they're, they're quite a bit more maintenance-free than you would think. I actually think a zombie apocalypse, I would die of boredom before anything else. I don't even think he had a mustache when I recruited him. I don't recall. And then uh, he's got more than a mustache too. And I don't know why everybody only notices his. A lot of these kids have mustaches. My neighbors would start shooting zombies. Okay, here's another one. Okay, there's another one. All right, another one. And I respectfully uh, declined to answer on the grounds that I might get fined. This is a really ugly zombie. Wow, pretty attractive for a zombie. I think most people that say that Christmas isn't their favorite holiday are lying. I think candy corn's awful. It, you know, I mean, I completely hate candy corn. Uh, it's like fruitcake. Uh, you know, there's a reason they only serve, serve fruitcake once a year because it's awful. So there's still candy innovation, although a while back I found that Europe had better candy than we did overall because <laughs> they have gummy everything. Mobility. Make sure you have mobility with your costume. Make sure you can get around. Make sure it's warm enough so that you can get as much candy as possible. There's a time when they, you know, they hit uh, kind of raccoon teenage years and it's time for them to head off and... Uh, into the sunset. And as soon as you get it, uh, immediately hide it uh, because your brothers and sisters will try to steal it. There's a lot of reaction coming in. The Pac-12 tweeted out this statement saying, quote, Coach Leach was one of the game's most innovative minds who had a passion for learning and teaching and who was a great leader of young men throughout his career. Spokane County Treasurer Michael Baumgartner posted this picture of him with Leach on Twitter and it says, quote, just don't know what to say. So just going to post some of my favorite pictures of my friend. One of Leach's players, Will Rogers, also posted on Twitter saying, I will never forget everything you taught me and the relationship we had. I will see you again someday, coach. Now, of course, Crim 2 News will continue to keep you updated on the death of Coach Mike Leach. You can get updates anytime on Crem.com and here on Crem 2 Plus. Mm -hmm.